Good morning, guys. It's Monday here. Uh, I'm just starting off the week. I wanted to do a quick review of these uh, Milwaukee pry bar set that I've had for about close to a year now, probably. Do a quick pass through of these for you. And what I'll do is I'll flip it over and let you see the part number. And here's the individual part numbers. This is the 8 inch, 12 inch, 18 inch, and then 24 inch. And there's the part number 4822-9214. And this is for the whole set. Okay, as you can see, it comes with four pieces. Um, it is the I-beam design. Um, they say it's stronger than your typical solid, solid construction. Um, and it is a striking cap. They call it hammer-ready strike cap. And all of them do come with the striking cap on there. And then the comfort grip itself is a tri-lobe design. And all metal core going straight through through the handle. So I picked this set up itself for about $69. Um, from price range, what I can see, it's going for about $70 to $100. Uh, the cheapest one I have, as I've seen today, um, was on Home Depot, going for $74.97, I believe. And at that price, it should be free shipping to you. Um, and then on Amazon, from third-party sellers, I'm seeing them going for about $100, $110, depending on who you buy it from. Now the set I had before this was a Pittsburgh uh, three-piece set with the yellow and black handles. Um, and the main reason I got rid of those is because when I was doing work with them, they did bow a lot. So when you were prying down something just with a lot of force, it would start bowing and, and at times it would get scary. So that was the main reason why I picked up this. Now, as far as for the design itself, um, I wasn't very sure. I hadn't seen a lot of reviews. None of my friends had these, so I was taking a chance on it. I'm not sure about that design right there as far as the integrity of the strength, how that'll do. Um, I've seen some some reviews online where these have broken off right around there. Um, and some complaints about the finish. I posted these online on Instagram and feedback I get from somebody was that this finish um, Seems to be kind of a satin kind of coat finish. Um, it was starting to peel off for him. I haven't had any issues yet, but again, I've only had these for a year. My Pittsburgh set I had for 10 years. So even though with the Boeing and all that other stuff, plus the, the, the sizing was only probably up to about the 18 inch. I wanted something that went up to the 24 inch. Um, obviously I wish that this one had a, a larger one than that, but they don't. So I, for the larger one, I actually, here, I'll go grab that real quick. I found this hyper tough one from Walmart. And as you can see, it says made in USA. It has a striking cap. It is a four-sided handle. And as you can see, the construction goes all the way through. It's solid. And when you compare the marks on them, you see on this Milwaukee, it kind of goes in 
it narrows into right there to make that curve. So you lose a lot of strength, whereas opposed to this one, it's just right there and bam, just so. I can see where why that would probably break off um, in a case where you're putting a lot of load or pressure on there. But I figured if I'm working on something that requires I, that I can visually see, it would require a lot of force to be put on there. I'll probably come and get this 36 inch one. Now this one itself was only $12. Um, if you go into the store and it rings up as $19, just tell the associate and say, hey, um, can you pull this up on the app? They'll scan it and it comes up as $12. So they will price match it from the, what's online. So another factor I was, was considering was the blow molded case. I wanted something that was organized. Um, I know this would take up a lot of real estate in the toolbox itself, but I don't mind that. I want something that way I can just look in there, pull it out and know exactly which size I wanted. As far as, as, far as construction um, and, and longevity, I don't know yet. This is only based off a of one year review. So, and this is just my feedback on there. Um, comfort wise, it's fine with the tri -lobe design. Um, I don't know how well they'll do in terms of just different applications. We'll just have to see. But for the price point of what I've gotten, gotten uh, with the case, it's uh, the tray itself, four pieces of for the pry bars, I wanted to try it out and give it a shot. Um, Milwaukee makes hand tools. I don't see a lot of reviews as far as um, in the automotive industry. And this is where I'm going to be using it as far as doing car work um, at home. I'm not a professional by any, any, anything. So um, what I do at home is just strictly for me. Um, so that's where these are going to be used for. As far as recommending for a professional, I would probably say get something better. Um, that's just my two cents. I know Snap-on makes some, Mayhew makes some. Mayhew would, for a comparable, as far as price range, I would probably go with the Mayhew. Or even um, on a budget, I would just go get the Hyper Tough set. If I were to redo it again, if I wish I had the tray though, um, for an organizational standpoint, um, for some construction wise, I would probably say, after buying this now, I would probably go buy these as opposed to these. Oh. And that's just my honest review on that. Just from the fact that, from a design standpoint, I'm not saying that I'm, I'm, I'm putting these down. I'm just saying by looking at the design now, because I didn't have, I, there's not, they're not in the store for you to go pick up. Um, this is something you get just, just on a whim, just order it, get it to the house and say, hey, do I like these enough to, to own them? Um, if I were to do it all over again, I'd probably get some of these or even the Mayhew set. Um, they're, Mayhew's a little bit more. I think you're probably gonna spend at least $120 for a four piece set with the same sizes as these. Um, and then you can obviously get the matching 36 inch pry bar and then and even more depending on what style you want. They, I know they have the straight, they have the curved. Um, but for $69, it was worth a shot. Um, so I'll use them until, until they, if I end up having one fail on me, um, I probably won't trust it enough to continue using the rest. What I'll probably do is end up replacing them long-term. But so for now, that's, that's my input on these. And again, like from a comparison to Snap-on, Matco, these are different leagues. This, this, I would just put them in the same league as those. Um, obviously you're gonna have a big price difference, so you're gonna pay for that. But I think from a budget wise, this would probably be the best option. I mean, I've seen professionals online, they have these in their toolbox lineup with no issues. I mean, they're made in the USA. Construction, you can see it's a lot more solid. So, 
that's just being honest right there. But again, haven't had any issues with them. So if you're open to it, then that's up to you. But when I pick this up, I don't feel that just that, that density is what I mean from this to this. Obviously this is gonna weigh a lot more because it's 36 inches, but if I were to go get the, a 24 inch one and do apples to apples, because you lose that, that material, you don't have that density. And then just the material itself, um, you can hear the difference. So, so yeah, if you have any questions, comments, or if you have uh, input about these, just leave them down in the comments below. Let me know. Um, be glad to hear what you got, uh, your thoughts on these. Um, again, just, just want to do a review on these. Uh, this is based off of one year experience with them. All right, thanks, guys. Have a good week.